All right, guys. Finally, we're here. We're filled up. Uh, the shut off has shut off uh, from filling. Uh, what I did was turn on the pump, but first I came down here, opened my valve. So I'm just recirculating here and down at the end down there, just recirculating the reservoir. The uh, system is still shut down, all the rails. Right now I'm just circulating the two reses. Okay, now what we got set up here is a little... Uh, of uh, my nutrients, what I'm going to add next. Uh, I am using Botanicare products Pure Bem Pro. Um, that's the uh, Bloom formula. I started them on Bloom. I never used a grow. We're seeing how that goes. Uh, so I have that located in the first cup. And I had already figured out for how much uh, water I have here, how much nutrient I need. Got it all formulated, uh, figured out by the milliliter, so it's already measured out. I do add a little bit of cow mag uh, plus, which I'm not using RO water, but the uh, cow mag seems to uh, help the plants out and uh, keeps them from any deficiency. So I give them a little cow mag, and I found out, you know, when you're using magnetic drive pumps, that iron and stuff like that uh, becomes unavailable in the system. So I have been using cow mag. Seems like it's uh, working good. And then last but not least, right there, let me get in a little closer if I can here for you. As a matter of fact, let's do this. Why I moved the camera. Be smarter than the camera. Last but not least, hygrozyme. Hydro, hygrozyme. And uh, I'll show you how much of that I'm going to use. What hygrozyme is, basically, it is a... Uh, like a natural uh, enzyme formula that cleans the uh, system of bacteria and fungus and algae and uh, uh, things that cause like pythium and root rot and it, it uh, allows your roots to just explode. Uh, the stuff is incredible. If you have brown roots or anything like that, slimy roots, if you've got any bacteria you're having a hard time getting rid of, oily substances, if you're having algae problems, get Hygrozyme. Use it in your system. You use it uh, 8 mLs per gallon. And that's uh, up to, I think, 15, yeah, 15 mLs. So you go 8 to 10. I just use 8 mLs. Uh, and you use it right in your change. You uh, can use it with any nutrients. It's not a harsh chemical. It's not going to kill your bacteria for your uh, organics, uh, anything like that. It's incredible. It's a little expensive. That bottle there is $30, $31. But that bottle lasts me three or four nutrient changes, which you got to remember, guys, i got 42 gallons going here. So that's why it's only three or four. If you've got a smaller reservoir, that stuff's going to last you a long time. So anyways, uh, which I, I don't have a measuring cup for that. I'll have to, once I empty these two. So first off, let's get the, uh, the Pure Blend uh, Pro Bloom, which I'm adding uh, 400 mLs here. So I'm just going to go with uh, half on this side. This isn't scientific because they're connected. They mix. Half on this side. I'm going to come down to this end here. Do another half over here. Trying to clean my cup out. As you can see, it's a lovely brown color. Alright. Now we're just going to let that circulate for a minute or so. Let that go through the circulation a little bit. Now we're going to take our uh, cow mag, which I have a hundred mLs here. So we're just going to, there again, half, stretch down here, half, done. Not real scientific here. Empty that out. Now on the uh, hygrozyme, since I got uh, my uh, thin there, my or the size of my reservoir, it takes uh, 300 and 
uh, roughly like 320, 380, probably do 400. I mean, you can't go wrong with this stuff, so I'm just going with uh, like a 325. I try to guess it out. And that just works out because it gives me three nice doses. There we go. 325 ml. And now we're going to add this to the system. Once again, just going half and half. Yeah, it's a little more than half. We'll go half on this side. Rinse out a cup a little bit. All right. Now, basically, our newts are in. So we real quickly go over again. Pure Blend Pro, uh, Pro Bloom, Cow Mag, and Hygrozyme. Now we're going to let that uh, go ahead and uh, circulate a little while, let that uh, mix up real good. Like I said, you can see here, we're circulating and pumping, so we're going to let that run. I'll be back here in a couple minutes, and uh, we're going to get the pH right on this system, and then uh, she'll be good to go. So see you guys in a few minutes. All right, here we go. Uh, it's been uh, mixing up for a little while, not too long. Now we're going to check the pH. Got my uh, pH meter here. Uh, Hannah, get in here and check the pH. I don't know if you guys can see. Right there, 6.5. About a 6.5. That ain't too bad right off of the tap and then with it, the nutrients. 6.5, let's give it a second. I always like to kind of check it. 6.5 here, let's check the other side. Just because it's not an exact science. Now they will be mixed. See this side here, 6.5, 6.4, 6.5. Okay. So we're 6.5. So I know, as I'm sure you guys all know with yours, kind of how much you can go with your reservoir going. So to 6.5, I'll tell you right now, I can hit this pretty heavy with the pH down. I like to run my peppers at a 6. Well, I'm having a heck of a time getting and this bottle. I'm trying to use the last of this small bottle up. There we go. All right. So right off the bat, here's, I'm going to go 10 mLs, 5 a side, pH down. Kind of cleaning out my little thing there, my little syringe. Got me a little paint stick that I like to use for stirring. Let me stir that up. Okay, now let's see where we're at now. Six four, six three, six three. Yeah, that's what I figured about. Point two. I'm gonna hit it again. You know, and I'm sure as you guys are aware too. You learn your res, reses and how much to get pretty close when it's time to do the pH. You know, if you just need little or more, or you get pretty accurate. And I keep a very detailed log, and I recommend anyone that does any type of hydroponics keep a detailed log book. I chart everything from air temperature, water temperature, pH, humidities. Every day I calculate the different uh, values, you know, that I do it. Some days I don't check it for like two days, but the days I do check, you know, I'm in here and I'm writing it down. Just like after all this, I'll write down all the newts I added and what temperature everything is. And All right, let's see here. 
6.2. Slowly but surely. <laughs> but, you know, it's a slow process. Let's check over here real quick. But, you don't want to... 6.2. You don't want to be going crazy. And then, you know, you go past your mark. And then you got to try to come back. And, you know, when I was first doing hydroponics, I was all over the place doing that. Now I'd rather take a little bit of time and come down on it slow because you'd be surprised out of nowhere all of a sudden something will change. You know, you'll uh, say, well, let me just put an ml in and it's boom, it's so close to the next number or the next pH reading, you know. Yeah, just a little stir here. A little stir over here. It's like making a big pot of soup or something. All right, let's see where we're at here. Six two. Bet you're gonna be six one. Probably got one more. Probably got one more. One more dose. Oh, we're 6 0 here. There we go. We're 6 0 on this side. And we're. Oh, 6 0. Look at that. See? There's a perfect example. With 6 1, 6 1. Boom. I don't know if you can see it on there. 6.0. Money. That's the magic number. Alright, guys. We're 6 0. So uh, in brief, that's it. I'm just basically going to throw the lids on her for tonight. Um, and uh, she won't run again until, you know, the morning when uh, the system kicks back on. And that gives us plenty of time to circulate and everything. Uh, what I will do is put the lids on. I'll open up the uh, valve here, or close the valve on the side. Reopen all the uh, valves up top, that, you know, for all the all the uh, rails and uh, this way it'll be all ready to go tomorrow because I'll shut the pump off here shortly after this circulates a little bit longer so uh, hopefully um, we learned something here and hopefully you know uh, maybe you guys got some comments or questions oh one other thing I don't know if you notice once you add that hydrozyme and I don't know if you can hear it let's listen yes the air stones are bubbling but once you add that hydrozyme, it almost becomes like an Alka-Seltzer tab in there. You can actually hear this fizzing. And that's what this stuff does. It cleans the roots and breaks down old root tissue. It's almost like you put an Alka-Seltzer in the system. It's, it's pretty incredible stuff. So if you guys get a chance, try that stuff out. Uh, but anyways, thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it. If you got any comments, please leave them. Any questions, uh, leave them. I'll get to them and answer them if I can as quick as possible. Uh, any suggestions, uh, feel free to uh, let me know. Uh, hopefully, you know, you got to see a little bit of how I do my res change. All in all, the longest time it takes is for the fill up. You know, um, remember guys, we all spend a lot of money on these systems and we spend a lot of money on nutrients and stuff. Uh, but the best thing you can do for your system is just give it a good cleaning when you strip it down, wipe it down, clean it down, use an enzyme. Or if you're using natural product, Get some hydrogen peroxide, uh, you know, dilute it down and uh, clean up them systems. So I hope everyone continues to have a great grow and uh, we'll see you on the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.